some punches with uh, some footwork. And the punches could be whatever strikes you like, whatever combinations you want to do. But to keep it simple, we're going to keep them pretty basic, closed fisted, um, straight punches, jabs, crosses, things like that. Uh, but what I want you to focus on is putting it together with the lower half. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from our uh, fighting stance first. Um, I'm going to put my left foot in front. Our fighting stance is again different than a traditional uh, karate stance. Traditional karate stances, forward stances, horse stances, back stances, they are good for stability and for power, um, but not so great for mobility. Um, you shouldn't be in them for very long, just when you need to block or when you need to, to strike. Um, for me, a fighting stance is somewhere in between. What I like to do is I like to take the idea of what a, a, um, a karate stance does, which is keeping your feet about shoulders width apart, bending your knees, and being rooted in the ground, but also being able to have movement forward, back, left, right, switching, um, being able to move freely, and then when necessary, drop into those stances depending on, on if you're blocking or striking or if you're moving. So we're going to start in our fighting stance. So your left foot is going to be forward, your guards are going to be up. We're just going to do a push step forward. So you're going to push off your back foot, take a step forward as you throw a lead left punch and followed by a right punch. Then we're going to push back off and get back. So you want to use the back foot to push forward and then you want your front foot to push back. It's pretty basic, but you want to work on the timing. I don't want to push and then hit. I want to make sure that my whole body is going behind that punch and I'm landing at the same time as my strike hits. I want to rotate for my second punch and then I want to push and come back. The guards are going to be up. We're going to push forward, punch, punch, push back. Step forward, punch, punch, step back. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Now we're going to do it a little bit quicker where you want to think about as soon as that second strike hits, then you want to explode back. You want to kind of almost bounce off your strike or pull yourself back. So I want to step forward, one, two, and back. One, two, and back. Make sure you're not bringing your feet together too close. It's really easy to step and bring it back. I'm coming up now every time I step in and I'm off balance. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you stay low, knees bent, stay low, knees bent, and trying to keep your feet the same distance apart so that they're not coming too close together. So working on sliding yourself forward and getting that timing. And try that one more time. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we're going to add to that where we were striking when we moved forward, closing that distance. Now we're going to strike forward and as we're coming back. So same footwork, same shoulders width apart, our guards are up. I'm going to push step forward, punch, punch. Now as I'm push stepping back, I want to land with my front punch and follow with my second punch. So when I push off this back foot, I should land with that front hand. Twist and turn for that second punch. As I'm pushing back off, I should be loaded to step and strike and counter back. And do that nice and slow in that fighting stance. Step forward, punch, punch. Step back, punch, punch. Step forward, punch, punch. Step back, punch, punch. Forward, back. Forward, back. So now we're gonna do it a little bit smoother. So we're gonna do both punches, punch, punch, and then come back. So we go step forward, one, two. Step back, one, two. Forward, one, two. 
back, one, two, forward, back, forward, back. Now we're going to shorten that pause in between, and we're just going to go forward, punch, punch, immediately back as quick as we can, and then we're going to pause at the end. Playing with that flow, we start, we step forward, one, two, three, four. Now pause again. Forward, one, two, three, four. Step forward, one, two, step back, and pause. Step forward, step back, and pause. Step forward, step back, pause. Forward, back, pause. So now we're going to do it five times together, nice and quick. Uh, four strikes, two forward, two back, and then reset at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do our same one that we started with, our step forward and our two punches, but instead of retreating back, we're going to cut back on a, a half turn or a half circle. So this could be the person is moving um, or we're moving around them to get a better angle. But we're going to do it nice and slow. You're going to end up going around in a circle. So our guard is up in that fighting stance. I'm going to push forward, throw my two strikes. Now instead of coming back, I'm going to keep this foot, uh, front foot that's on the ground, <clears throat> and I'm going to pivot my foot back so that I'm facing the other direction. Now I'm going to step forward again, one, two, pivot, stepping back. Forward, one, two, pivot, facing the other direction, forward, and back. So you should make a full circle, always stepping back with that back foot. And with this, you want to make sure that before we were trying to keep them the same space apart this way, now I want to make sure that they don't cross in front of each other this way. So when I pivot, it's easy to bring this foot behind and now I'm off balance. I want to make sure that as I pivot, my foot stays about the same space apart. Again, never trying to bring those feet too close together, never trying to come up and never trying to cross those feet too much behind each other to where you're off balance. Our guards are up. We step forward. One, two. Back foot turns. We step forward. One, two. Back foot turns. Forward. Back foot turns. Forward. Back foot turns. So now we're going to do it a little bit quicker. So as soon as you hit with your two strikes, pivot and pause. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go one, two, move. We want, it to, we want our strikes and our footwork to flow together uh, good, and we don't want it to be too choppy. In the beginning, you might have to practice it slow, but as you get better at it, you wanna push the speed uh, and how quickly you can do it. So our guards are up. We step forward, one, two, pivot. 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 Two, two, one, two. Okay, so now we're going to do that uh, first part, um, combining it with the second part. So we're going to start in our fighting stance. The first part we did was we stepped forward, two strikes step back two strikes now i'm going to pivot but when i pivot i'm going to throw a hook it could be an elbow a palm slap doesn't matter but as i come back off that second one as i pivot i'm going to strike we're adding that first section of the forward back and then we're cutting that angle but we're going to throw a strike so when you step back you could pivot with a hook you can pivot with a palm, come across with an elbow. You can mix these hand strikes to be whatever you want, but you want to make sure that you're, you're throwing it with your body and not just your arm. So I don't want to pivot and then punch, and I don't want to punch 
and then pivot, I want my lower half and my upper half to work together. So the harder and faster I can move this foot back, the harder and faster this can go forward. And then vice versa, the harder I throw this forward, the harder it's gonna push this one back. So we wanna pretend like they're connected together. So when I turn my foot, my foot is being pulled by my punch and my leg is pushing my punch forward. So we're gonna nice and slow. Starting in that fighting stance, our guards are up. Step forward, punch, punch, step back, punch, punch, turn, hook. Step forward, punch, punch, step back, punch, punch, turn, hook. Forward, punch, punch, back, punch, punch, turn, hook. Forward, punch, punch, step back, punch, punch, turn, hook and we should be right back to where we started. Okay, so just like before, we're gonna to try to do that whole section together. We wanna to do it in a nice uh, five count uh, flow of that combination. And we go forward, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Now we're just going to try to do it as quick as we can, flowing nice and fast um, between one to the other to the other to the other, completing that full circle. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to add uh, a little bit of the lower body in there uh, to change up the combination just a little bit. Um, we're going to start in that same fighting stance, still working on that push step forward with our straight, two straight punches or a jab and a cross. And before we come back though, I'm going to either fire a knee and slide back or after I do my punch, I could roundhouse and step back. But I want to use the return of whatever kick I'm doing, whether it be a front kick, a uh, roundhouse, a knee, I don't want to knee, put it down, and then step back. I want to use that momentum back to pull me away. Um, but for the sake of the drill, we're going to fire the knee. So nice and slow, our, our guard is up. I'm going to push step forward, one, two, my knee comes up, and I slide back. So I should be a little bit further away. Push forward again, one, two, knee, slide back. Step forward, one, two, knee, step back. Again, one, two, knee, step back. So now we're gonna do the whole thing a little bit smoother, put all three together, and we're gonna pause when we get back. So we go one, two, knee, back. One, two, knee, come back. So now we're going to do that five times, nice and smooth. One, punch, punch, knee, and back. Two, three, four, and five. So now we're going to add uh, the Superman punch into it or uh, the reverse punch into it. Um, we're going to do it off the knee. So this um, is going to work if instead of firing those two punches, hitting with that knee and just retreating, I want to um, either he retreats and I need to chase after him um, or I want to close that distance as he's coming in after me. So it's going to look like this. We start in our guard, same push step, same punch, same knee. But as that knee is coming back, you're almost like you're kicking, um, but as you kick backwards, you're going to punch forward with your right. Okay, so we're not moving backwards, we're staying in the same spot, but we're closing that distance. So from if he's in front of me, 
and I move forward with my two strikes, and if he backs up after my knee, as I step back, I'm going to throw that punch as he's coming in. So we're filling that space with that, that punch. So once again, it's forward, knee. After my knee, I could step back with my hop, or I can step forward with my hop, or you can stay in the same spot. So you can play around with the foot that you're standing on after that knee, whether you want to step forward and punch, or whether you want to step back and punch. But just like before, we want the timing of our strike and my body landing at the same time, not over rotating. Um, and we want to turn our shoulder to get some extra reach as well. Take your time with it. We push step forward, punch, punch. We throw our knee, we jump back and punch. Slide back and reset. Step forward, one, two. Knee, step, punch, come back. Step forward, one, two. Knee, punch. Forward, knee, punch. So now we're gonna put it a little bit faster. Um, and after you do your, your punch, try to reset and get out of there or cut a corner. But for the sake of the drill, uh, make sure that your guard is up and you back up a little bit afterwards. And one, punch, punch, knee, punch. Two, punch, punch, knee, punch. Three, four, five. Good job. Now remember, those strikes can be interchanged with whatever you like. They can be different types of strikes. Open hand, closed hands, hooks, uppercuts, different kicks. Um, we're keeping it basic for the sake of the drill. Um, close fists, regular kicks, basic knees, um, nothing too fancy so that you're not getting complicated um, having to think about different strikes. But the goal is to get your timing of putting everything together so that your footwork and your uh, upper body or lower body is timed right so that you're not uh, too robotic -y and you're not stepping and then hitting um, that you're not coming up and down or bringing your feet too close together um, and that's important and the more you practice those and you practice put them in with your shadow boxing or when you're making up your self-defense techniques the more comfortable you'll get with moving around and switching leads and pivoting um, so that if you can constantly flow in and out of uh, both both leads, both hands, whether um, the opportunity presents itself for you to have to go a certain direction or to change a strike um, or change a stance. You don't wanna be forced to just do the same thing over and over again. You should be able to constantly be able to evolve and flow between a bunch of different strikes.